In this video, we will be studying about how to construct the perpendicular with a given line in various, um, like using your set square, using your compass if the point is outside the line or point is on the line. How we will use the various methods to construct the perpendicular. Now let's start. Now drawing the line perpendicular to a given line from a point outside the line. Method 1 is we are using the set square on it. Right. Take a scale, draw a line AB on it. Now take any point outside the line. You can take any point and we will name that point as P. Now we have to draw a perpendicular. So we will take a set square, we will place the set square exactly on the line. And we will slide this uh, set square to point P and we will draw a straight line that is perpendicular line to it. From point P on, point, uh, on line AB, let's draw a straight line to P using a set square on upwards and downwards. So this P is a perpendicular on AB. Now name the point of intersection as Q. This point is Q. So QP is perpendicular to AB. In this we have drawn the perpendicular using the set square. Now in this we will draw a perpendicular to the line from the point outside the line using a compass. Now draw a line MN. We will draw a line MN and we will take a point X outside this line and we will try to uh, make the perpendicular using a compass first we did about the set square now with the compass now take a scale and draw a line mn take any point outside the line let's name it as that point as x now open the compass according to the scale you want right then place the compass on the point x and draw an arc at n and then draw an arc at m now name the points at A and B. Now place the point of the compass at A and draw the arc here. And after that take the point, uh, this point at B and draw the other arc down. Now this point is the place where we will uh, place the scale. Now we have taken the arcs. Adjusting the, don't change the uh, distance between the compass. Now take a scale and name this point as Y. Now we will take a scale and we will draw a straight line and we will name it as X and Y. So X and Y is perpendicular to the line M and N. Using a now we will understand that how to draw a perpendicular to a given line at a point on the line. If we are given a point on the line, how we have to draw perpendicular to it? Number one method is we will use first the using the set square. Now draw a line AB and take a point E anywhere on the line. Draw a line through point E perpendicular to line AB using the set square. It is very simple. What you will do, you will take a scale, you will draw a line AB. Now take any point E on the line and mark it as E. Take a set square, place exactly on the line and slide the set square to the point E. Slide it to the point E and make sure that it is on the line. The set square is on the line and draw a straight line and make sure that 90 degree angle you will place the set square this way. Now take a straight line and name it as F E. So EF is a perpendicular to AB. Now drawing a line perpendicular to a given line at a point on the using a compass. Now draw a line XY, take a point M anywhere on the line, draw a line through point M perpendicular to the XY using a compass. Now we will study how to draw a line. Take a scale, draw a line, straight line, name it as X and Y. Now take any point M on the line. Now take a compass. We, we need to draw a perpendicular. So adjust your compass to the suitable span you like. 
now place the point of the compass on the x uh, sorry m and draw two arcs cutting each side of the m on the x y line point n and then arcs after that name that uh, the intersecting point as s n t now stretch the compass to the span that is little greater than half the distance between points s n t now s n t take a uh, compass span which is a bit more than the half now uh, placing the point as at s draw an arc and placing the point at t of the compass draw an arc again and do not change the span of the compass keep the compass as it is now uh, you have uh, drawn the arc so we have got an intersection point name that uh, intersection point as n after that what you will do you will take a scale and you will draw a line passing through m and n through the points m and n so in this way we have drawn m and n perpendicular to x and y